Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, terrible. Like a terrible, <laughs> terrible strategy. strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. You're watching The Advocate on Plus TV Africa. Enough is surely enough. Several years ago, on my way to work, my attention was drawn to a crowd gathering across the road from me. My driver slowed down and I noticed a young boy on the pavement tied like you would a goat you had just purchased, shaking uncontrollably and pleading. It dawned on me that he was about to meet his end. What I was witnessing at that moment was jungle justice. I was saddened and felt totally helpless because I knew there was nothing I could do as I saw the familiar sight of tires being thrown on him. I had to look away. So why are Nigerians resorting to jungle justice in the face of the existence of institutions for restitution? I believe it's because the police and courts have failed Nigerians in dealing with not just criminal cases, but other cases they are constitutionally vested to deal with. The police have been accused of compromising justice and have done a terrible job of investigating and prosecuting criminal cases, and these in turn have resulted in criminals feeling more emboldened. The courts have often been lethargic in adjudicating in cases, allowing them to linger forever. Often, when finally the cases are settled, they end up favoring the criminals who heavily invest in the time-wasting delays of the courts to escape justice. Often, all they get is a slap on the wrist, leaving their victims completely let down and frustrated. Something must be done as innocent people are being killed nearly every day as a result, as we saw with the Alu 4. So here's what I propose. The police and the courts must take responsibility and do something urgently to not only put away criminals speedily, but reassure the people that criminals apprehended will be dealt with in a manner that deters them from continuing in crime. The fact is that the people have lost total confidence in the police and the courts to deal with criminals, hence the resorting to self-help becoming very attractive. They must work very hard to regain the confidence of the people in dealing with criminal issues. That way, they save not only those who are wrong targets of mob action, but also ensure that justice is carried out the right way. The country's criminal justice system needs quick and urgent action to arrest the rising cases of jungle justice all over the country. Yeah, like I said, um, Uche, you, you feel that boy. Um, you needed to have just been that one lone voice. And you probably just one or two persons back to their reasoning, and they would have. Well, the thing is, I, I, I just think that there might be a, 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 disjoint, a disjunct between the, the people who are acting like animals and the failure of the justice system. I'm not sure. I think there's something else that's causing this behavior, this animalistic behavior. And it's not just the failure of... The, the, I don't think it's so intellectually obvious mm. that that's where it's coming from. No, do you Partly. mind if I just Partly. come in quickly? Yeah, you know, yeah. Culturally, because, before um, you come in quickly, culture. Partly, you know, we I, I partly agree with her when mm. she said um, failure of the justice mm. system, the policing, mm. because even people who committed these wrongs, mm. you know, nothing happens to mm. them. Some of them, yeah. before you know it, they all find their way mm. back into the streets. Mm. And, and so if you, we have a way of resorting to self-help, that's what we call self-help also. And so if the law 
or the justice, the criminal justice system is immediately, the instrumentality of it is immediately activated to deal with, you know, cases, matters as they come, including those who resort to self-help. You won't have, um, you deter a lot of people from If it you also. go back in time, this thing was very popular long before now, yeah. 30, 40 years ago. Mm -hmm. And I won't say that the country was as messed up as it is today, uh, even if really, it was in really reality. Uh, we're, we're, and we're far less people anyway. We're not 200 million, so we thought a bit differently. So that's why I say I think that there's something wrong. It's, and I think it's cultural. Okay, it's not me... that our culture as Africans is animalistic, but we have... The, the, let's face it, Isn't we've it? been, there's a disjunct from moving from it, our but, culture but let me, to, me, to let the let Westernized culture. Let me just bring Jungle it, justice bring is our culture. To, yes. It's our culture. You, it's, you, we call it <laughs> I don't know about no, 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 I won't call it jungle it's justice. Sorry, please, no, let, yeah. let me, let me, let me make this, the reason so. why. Try about deal. But it was, it was okay. Okay. Let, let the advocate. Sorry, let me, let me just, you know, because Chuka seems to not see the connection. And for me, it's very clear. For instance, I read about, there was this community where there were these, uh, bon these boys who were terrorizing people on a daily basis. They would report it to the police. The police won't do anything. Even if the boys go into uh, the police cell or whatever, they'll be out and they'll be back to doing exactly what they were doing. So finally, the community were able to round up these boys. And at, this, at that point in time, they were not going to go back to the police who had been letting them down. Yeah. So what did they do? They, they killed, burnt they the burnt boys. Them. Yes. Okay, let's look at another um, electoral, uh, during the elections. The police were right there when people were snatching ballot boxes and what have you. They weren't doing anything. What do you expect these people to do? You're, you, it's almost like you're encouraging them to do, to do these things. Mm. They burnt an, another human, or set him on fire. fire. I think he later mm. died, you know, but I don't mm. know. I'm not, I can't really... He didn't die. No, no, he didn't no, he didn't no, he didn't okay, yes. but at least they set him on fire because they were there watching this man snatch ballot boxes. <laughs> the police were there just watching him. And their votes were being stolen and destroyed. I, I agree, so yes. there has to be I a agree. direct connection. If, you know, between... I don't know how you can say no, that there no, no, is... No, 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 I'm not saying that it... it there was oh, absolutely no case where I took my jungle justice because police did not act. But I'm saying that I believe I that that jungle I justice, no, I know, but there's many that the jungle justice is actually somehow as if it's inbred. I'm, and I, there I are cases. Let, let, me, are, let me telling you, justify that, that statement uh, I made that you say is know? bizarre. Mm. Trial by ordeal. A mm. woman's husband dies, mm. and then you say she, she must have killed her. And yeah, then, you're okay. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you. You wash a dead body but, for somebody to drink. Mm. But, but then people will be can, right but, there. But can, yeah. I, can I say? And, and not just yeah. that one. There's an accusation it's, that somebody stole. You take the person to the shrine mm. and say you must swear and you must die. And these are, these are fallout. The, the all we have action. today, yeah. this, this mob action are fallout of these practices. Maybe and we don't understand the Western system of, I, I think, of, of I think, law. I think this is, this is what, That's sometimes why we're like This is the point where... Um, so you, and it harkens back to what you just said, that there seems to be a dysfunction, a breakdown mm -hmm. of, of our current legal system, mm -hmm. which is, is in most instances artificial. We borrowed it. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a disjunction from what is a traditional system. Mm -hmm. Because, again, from what um, Liberus is saying, that it, it's part of our culture, not, not necessarily. Because, you know, if someone steals in the olden days in a village, uh, you know, um, what they would do is they would, they would, and if you're a persistent thief, yeah, persistent. they will ask you to leave. Yeah. You leave the community. Mm. They will ostracize you. Yeah, they won't or kill actually, you, they won't kill you. Yeah. They will just ask you to, to leave. They actually even um, hold court in the village. Yeah, you know? yeah. 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 And, and you have your say. Mm. And, you know, just, I think it was after the genocide in, 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 in Rwanda. Rwanda. If you remember, there were almost a million people killed. It was impossible to use the Western legal system to try yeah. the, 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 offenders. The, the offenders. Yeah. So they had to use the Gachaka system, which was their own traditional system, which worked quite well. Mm. And which essentially said if, if, if a, a victim or a come, came up and stood up in court and said, I forgive you, that person is, is, will serve a small jail term or some punishment, but it's clearly forgiven. Mm. And so they, they, they could treat thousands of cases within a short space of time. And, and that's why I think that we have this conflict mm. where it's almost like we live in both worlds and that's not really it. expert in any of the worlds. Mm. We've yes. abandoned our traditional yes. system. Yeah. And, well we've, and then, yeah, not the fact, yes, we're not properly yes. embraced mm. the Western system. Yeah. So we're conflicted. Yeah. 
you know, because if, 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 it, if in the village, the example you, you, mm. you came up with, they trusted in the, in the police. Yeah. Yeah. Police it's failed. Sad, really. yeah. so, and, and therefore they, des they decided yeah, to take matters, to take into, matters their into their own hands. hands. Exactly. But if it's on the old traditional system, right. you know, those people will, be, will actually be pushed out. Right. Yeah. In a, in, a, in a less violent Lent manner. manner. Depending yes. on yeah. So before, before we run <laughs> well. out of time, what I actually want to say is I think it's a mixture of both. Mm -hmm. That's the yeah. problem. Yes. Um, I think you've touched on quite a bit of it, Emeka, and so has, so has Chuka. But I put it down to, when you say psychological, we have a siege mentality in Nigeria, end of. We really do. And we have been besieged, right? right. You know, sure. successful mm -hmm. governments and policies and all that stuff, number one. And then the other big problem, which is perhaps even more... Uh, should I say more important than the seed mentality is a trust factor. Yeah. We are a country where we don't trust, we can't find anybody to trust. Mm. Whilst we advocate in here, it's time to join your advocacy on our social media platforms. On our population time bomb, Sam Wankwa says, I'm totally with you on the subject matter. Human resource remains the greatest tool of development. On social media etiquette, Dan Akban Elias says, I'm struggling to accept numbers one don't. When somebody accepts my friend request, I do send a hi or hello sticker to acknowledge and open convo. Usually I get a response and an acknowledgement back. So if there's no exchange, how do we get to start a convo? Engage or when is it the best time way to meet on social media without private chats? I think this person just wants to enjoy himself on, <laughs> you know. Yeah. Still on the matter, Bridget Miller Taylor says, treat a profile like the front veranda. Treat a post like a living room. An inbox is the kitchen. You know where you're welcome. You know where you've been invited. Nobody wants a stranger walking right off the street and into their bedroom. Thank you, Bridget, I totally agree with that. That would be presumptuous and rude. I fully agree with you. Again, on population time bomb, Lola OV, okay, says, it's weaponized vanity, people hiding behind the cloak of religion and fertility to justify overcrowding and an already overwhelmed system. I often wonder what it would take to actually enforce a one-child policy, and I'm afraid I don't trust our government to get it right, and I don't trust that it would lead to a new kind of operation for the poor class. You can join the conversation by going to our Facebook page, Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG, or on Twitter and Instagram at Plus TV Africa, hashtag The Advocate NG. Also, you can watch our previous broadcasts or view our scripts and profiles on www.plustvafrica.com forward slash The Advocate. Time to go on a brief break. When we return, Chuka tries to make sense of the dilemma of mothers and rapists after the break. Welcome to The Advocate, a program that thrashes out all the topical issues of the day. When you are in government, you don't see nothing wrong mm, with exactly. whatever is happening. The moment you are out there, everything is that wrong. Is, we can't even see yes. many women now, and when they're there, they're not even really making a mark, and then they have an NYSC problem and this and that. One of the reasons why we don't have more women in politics in Nigeria is for as long as political meetings continue to take place in the middle of the night. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's really. disastrous for a president to, even to be unaware. unaware of the chief it's justice. It's a ploy. It could be a strategy. That strategy it's was a terrible, terrible. Like a terrible, <laughs> terrible strategy. strategy. Because the box stops at your table. Whether it's that we don't look after our cities and quite frankly Nigeria has become in a very ugly place. Mm. When you are the only one feeding the people with this news and there is nobody countering them, it becomes, you know, the, the news. Yeah. 